see the demonstration of the new cell processor. It's a high performance processor integrated in the television. This processor is uh, already in use in the PlayStation 3. And here, uh, in this example, it is used to decode multiple TV programs at the same time. So on this screen, we have 48 programs. Uh, 48? 48, everyone decoded at the same time. Okay. So we can just go through the program and select the one you like. Wow. Watch it on the screen. Uh, another feature this uh, processor could uh, be used for, for is uh, when you have a high definition video, mm -hmm. like here, yes. it uh, automatically divides it into several scenes. Uh, now we see five scenes, everyone uh, decoded simultaneously at the same time. So we can just go through our movie and select our favorite scene to watch it and everything in a high definition. In high definition, yes? Yes, it is high definition. Okay. So another feature we are also presenting is the Resolution Plus feature. And um, this uh, high performance processor can be used when you have your standard definition small image uh -huh. and you have to scale it to the size of your high definition television. So uh, this uh, causes a loss of quality. So this processor can be used to digitally improve the picture that uh, gets more clearly. So here you have a split screen and you can see a difference. Okay. And uh, the last thing I can show you the, the digital zooming on your television using this uh, high performance processor. Now uh, we have a high definition image and we want to just zoom into it. So we have a clear uh, image and everything is calculated in real time. Real time? Yes, in real time. Okay. Whoa. So it's future. <laughs> yes, this future will be released on the Japanese market in autumn of 2009. Oh, so next year. Next year. Next year. Okay. In market share. Yes. What? In market, yes. In the Japanese market. Japanese yes. market. And Europe, maybe. It's not yet decided. Not yet decided. Okay.